What's up, cool people? I'm Matt Conroy. Welcome back to my vlog. And yeah, as much as possible, I'm going to go with the natural light from now on, uh, just to save a little energy. But I've discussed that in a different video. Anyway, so uh, recently I was sitting in a chapel service with a bunch of students and all that. Whenever I'm on duty, that's what I'm doing Sunday morning. Uh, you know, it's basically ch a church service right here on the school campus. But anyway, uh, in the midst of that was a very, very passionate, also very important uh, sermon being given revolving around salvation, what exactly means, how it works, how we know whether or not we are saved or anything like that. And um, kudos to you. I'm not going to give any names, but you know who you are, I think, who was giving the sermon on this particular Sunday. Because, man, <laughs> it, it definitely got me thinking a little bit about, you know, uh all the stuff that Jesus did on the cross. And yes, I kind of intentionally wore this shirt for this video. Um, all the stuff that Jesus did on the cross, off the cross, uh, all the theology revolving around the life and death and resurrection of Jesus and all that kind of stuff. But one of the thoughts that specifically came to my mind in amongst all of that is any of these songs that we have that say, things along the line of the cross was enough or the cross has the vinyl word or, you know, any of that kind of stuff that centers around the cross and makes that the be all end all of all of existence, really, or especially salvation. I, I, I mean, I get the point of what it's trying to say, but it, it technically from a theological standpoint, it kind of misses the mark ever so slightly. Because, really, if you think about it, what Jesus did or didn't do on the cross, all of that is completely meaningless if Jesus did not rise from the grave three days later. Because, otherwise, there's no argument that sin was conquered. There's no argument that Jesus was really any kind of extra human. Uh, meaning, you know, like beyond human, that he was at all God. Um, pretty much any argument for that line of thought fades away. And just everything, it all just falls apart if Jesus did not also rise from the grave. Yes, the cross was important as well. But, again, saying that the cross in and of itself was enough, or that it had the final word is kind of sort of incorrect. The brunt of our theology around salvation tends to revolve around the cross. I get that. Because that's really where the debate comes in, whether, like, Jesus was satisfying God's wrath or whether he was paying the price for sin or all the above. That's really where people kind of debate theologically what happened with the grand scheme of salvation. What is not debatable, however, is the significance of Jesus rising from the grave and the fact that the rest of it would be meaningless without that. If anybody argues with that point, then I feel like they're missing the real crux of Christianity, of salvation, of sin and humanity and God and how that all connects. Again, I'm not trying to bash on any of these songs that focus on the cross. And uh, like I said, I, I I get the point of what they're trying to say. They don't mean, they generally don't mean specifically what happened on the cross was actually the final word for all the rest of eternity. No, they, they're talking about the cross as in like Jesus dying for our sins slash saving us slash whatever else happened in and around the cross in the entire salvation process thing that happened all around that. That's usually what they mean. 
but again, it's it's detail wording theology oriented. Technically, it's slightly inaccurate. So, it's, yeah, especially with Easter just being not too long ago, I felt like it was relevant <laughs> to bring that up, given w- what we're actually celebrating on Easter. Good Friday, uh, uh, we call it Good Friday, uh, but that's only good in any sense because of what happened on uh, on Easter Sunday, or at least what we celebrate on Easter Sunday. It wouldn't be Good Friday without that. It would just be, yeah, so this dude named Jesus died, and that was it. There would be no conquering of sin, or death, or any of that. Our hope for eternity with God would pretty much be non-existent. So for me, when it comes to, you know, thinking theologically about salvation and about what happened or didn't happen on the cross, or with salvation, I should say, as a whole, any any theology related to salvation, I think kind of misses the point if it doesn't include the resurrection. In fact, if it doesn't sort of focus on the resurrection and make that the real firm foundation of what it's really all about. There's, I I don't know, I have a hard time seeing where our hope would be if it was all focused just on the cross because the cross was representative of just death and sin, and sadness, and pain, and all of, all these emotions that we tend to think negatively upon, or other things that really are not very hopeful in the least, but it's the resurrection where that all kind of comes full circle, and then it becomes, rather than just Jesus dying for all of our sins, it's Jesus conquering death itself it's Jesus conquering sin and giving us the way to break free from that slavery to sin or that fear of death being the end of it all that is what really happened in those three days roughly going from cross to resurrection And if we miss that, we miss the biggest part of our hope for eternity. We have no hope for heaven if there is no resurrection. Anyway, done with my theological rant this time around. So, as always, like and share if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more as I post it. Some of them are scripture and theology related. Other videos are just other kind of topics that come to my mind. Uh, on various other things uh but leave comments down below about this topic whether you agree with me or not or even just ways that you think i could follow up on this better or other topics related or unrelated that you would like me to cover i am totally open to those other than like some dangerous challenge thingamajig i'm not no (laughs) If you'd rather follow me on some kind of social media, I've got Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Follow me at Matt Conroy YT on those. And if you'd rather just try and keep up with me on Instagram, I have that now. Yay. Um, Slightly different though, it's Matt Conroy YT 1990. For some reason, Matt Conroy YT was already taken. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it was. So I tacked on the 1990 just to be original. That's all I've got for you this time around. I hope you're all doing well, and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. In any case, stay cool, people.